Hey guys, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to record content from your PS4 straight to your PC or Mac without the use of an external or internal capture card and also without using the internal DVR that's built into the PS4 itself. This is a great method for anyone who wants to make tutorials, walkthroughs, let's plays, or even of those, uh, for those who wanna stream content to YouTube or Twitch with more control and more options than you would get from simply streaming from the PS4 itself. This tutorial requires you to have a PS4, a PC or Mac, a mini USB cable, and two apps which are both completely free. First, what you need to do is download both of the apps onto your computer. So the first app you need is the PS4 Remote Play app. You can find it here. Um, link will be in the description. The second app you need is Open Broadcaster Software. Again, free, you can find it right here. Link will be in the description. Now you wanna turn on your PS4 and then you wanna open the Remote Play app on your computer and sign in with your PSN account. And once you sign in, you should have a screen something like this. So you wanna click settings and then you wanna change them to however you want. Uh, the standard PS4 can stream up to 720p at 60 frames per second, while the PS4 Pro can do up to 1080p. Connect your PS4 controller to your computer with the mini USB cable and then hit the start button when you are ready. Now after a few seconds, your PS4 screen should pop up on your computer and you will be able to start controlling it with the DualShock con uh, controller that you've connected with the USB cable. So we're just gonna wait a few seconds here. It's basically looking for my PS4, trying to find it. And bam, there we go. So I got my PS4 there and I can control it with my controller just like I would if it was on my PS4. Very easy. Now you want to open up your open broadcaster software and you get something like this. Now mine looks like this because I'm currently recording. You see my mic moving right here and it says stop recording. It would say start recording if I had, wasn't recording anything. But yours will look like this except it'll be a blank screen here. It'd be a blank canvas. So what you want to do is you wanna right click under scenes and you're gonna click add scene and you're gonna name it whatever you want. Then you're gonna click on, right click on sources and you're gonna to go to add monitor capture, okay? Then again, you can name it whatever you want. You can rename them later, but just for now, that's what you're gonna put. So I have a couple here and these are like basically like presets. So I have my stream scene, which is what I'm streaming on, you know, on YouTube. I click this. And if I wanna capture my um, display, like if I wanna record capture, like the method I'm doing right now, I click this one and then you can make as many of them as you want. So now there's a ton of settings and customizations you can do depending on whether or not you want overlays or what type of quality you want and all sorts of things like that. But I'm not gonna get into all those details because it'll basically just make this video too long. But I recommend right clicking on your source and going to properties and making sure all of these settings are how you want them. One of the main ones is um, capture mouse cursor. If you don't want it to capture your mouse cursor, like you can see my mouse moving right now, you can unclick that and it won't capture your mouse cursor anymore. And other than that, I would say click on settings and making sure your video and audio settings are both how you want them. Now, for example, in audio settings, if you wanted to capture your microphone, like I'm doing right now, this is where you would input your microphone. If you wanna capture your uh, microphone and then do your other audio devices and all that stuff. Make sure all your settings are how you want them, both audio and video. And then once those are done, click on broadcast settings. And this is where you would enter your stream key if you were to stream on YouTube or Twitch. And this is also where you would put your output file for, um, this is also where you put your output file for the video that you're gonna record. So you get to choose your destination folder and you can choose whether or not you want an MP4 or an FLV file. I like MP4 better, so that's why I have mine at MP4. You can have yours however you want. So once those are done, you click OK. I'll click Cancel because I don't want to change anything. And that is that. Now, once all your settings are done, you can click Preview Stream, and that'll bring up a display here where you can see everything that's going on. Um, but if you're confident all your settings are good, you can go ahead and click Start Recording or Start Streaming, depending on what you're doing. And once you do that, you're going to minimize your OBS, just like that. And you're gonna click on your remote play app, full screen it, and then you're gonna start playing your game. You're gonna pick whatever game you want, Infinite Warfare, um, 
you know, whatever game you're gonna play or whatever you're gonna do. You can even do other things on here. You can do tutorials if you have a tutorial of something you wanna show on the uh, PS4 itself or some sort of how to set up a microphone or how to set up a, your PS4 display or anything like that. Whatever you wanna do, it'll record right onto your, um, onto your computer. And so once you're done that, you minimize this screen again, open up your OBS and you click stop recording. Very easy, it'll output the file to the destination you set previously and that's basically it. So this is very easy to do. It lets you record with much more ease and freedom over the DVR that's built into the machine itself. Another great thing is if you don't have, you don't even have to be in the same room as your console to do it because the app allows you to stream to your PC remotely. So that's pretty cool. Um, the only downfalls with this really are that you have to use a wired controller and that you're restricted to 720p if you have the standard PS4 model. Now the wired controller thing, um, I went to the dollar store and I found a 10 foot mini USB cable and it was like three bucks. I know I don't know why things at the dollar store cost more than a dollar, but still very cheap, three bucks, 10 foot cord, it works just fine, I use it, it it's, it's brilliant. Um, but other than that, this method is amazing for recording content for anyone who doesn't have or can't afford an expensive capture card. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it interesting or if it helped you out at all, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts on this video. But that's going to be it for me for now. So thank you for watching. I'm Vile Self. Until next time, villains. Later.